Good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis video. Today, I'm going to go a little bit over Bitcoin. Uh, I'm going to explain to you uh, what are we looking at? Where are we right now on the charts? Um, why, uh, why is this an important moment? If we break up from here, what is the target going to be uh, looking like? And if we break down from here, what is the target going to be for the downside? If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe on our social media, on our Twitter, YouTube, hit the bell button, um, the notification button. So you're always up to date with the newest videos that we release for free. So having that said, let's begin. Currently, I would say there is a couple of a couple of levels uh, in play on the charts. And as you can see, I've marked them out in blue and in yellow. And at the moment, uh, this frames the entire piece of price action. So one could say that in the beginning, you were basically still in the range, the same old range that we have been in since the 19th of May. And we are now hovering about the upper part of the range. Now, the real question is, is are we going to break out to the upside or are we going to keep on ranging? That is the big, the million dollar question, quite literally. Um, so what are we looking at? At the moment, we have initiated a short squeeze and that happened basically from all the way from, from the beginning, from a sh uh, very small short squeeze that evolved into a larger squeeze and a larger squeeze and a larger squeeze. And the way that that happened was uh, for that, you need to chop the chart up in, in in sections, so to speak. So this is the big section, the range from left to right, from the 19th of May till today. And then locally, more locally, we were having this range where we were dropping below $30,000. And if we zoom out or zoom in, sorry, uh, to even a lower little bit of time frame, you can also say that uh, once we have hit below $30,000, we have continued some sideways price action around $30,000. And from there on out, we have uh, done the following. We have, let me clean that up for a second. We have hovered around there for a little bit around this level. Uh, this entire drop happened on relatively low volume, so there was no real selling strength, only a lot of people selling here at these very lows in this range. And what did we do? We put in a low, we swing failure that low, we continued ranging on a little bit, hitting the CC essentially, and from there on out we started, initiated the first squeeze. Um, and that is where it all started, uh, only to squeeze straight through the previous consolidation range, reclaiming the weekly level and continuing the squeeze up all the way to the bigger range. Um, so if you remember what I just said, uh, cutting down the chart in multiple, multiple sections, we have had this big section. So we have hit the bottom of this section and we're now all the way at the top. But nonetheless, all these smaller sections were also coming back into play because look at what happened over here. We squeezed through this and we backtested this almost to the dollar exactly, if not to the dollar exactly, if you line it up to this little wick. And from there on out, that brought us up into the larger area. So it, it, what I'm trying to say with this uh, explanation is that it, in the end, it cascaded from small to big. Because this was a, w initiated with a small squeeze, bringing us up back to the local, uh, to the lo reclaiming local levels, uh, in, uh, after which we initiated the larger squeeze, bringing us back up to the bigger section of the chart, which ultimately led us to the top of the entire section of the chart. Now, keeping this in mind, naturally there is uh, a real opportunity that this could uh, ignite, I would say, uh, an even larger squeeze to the upside, for example. Um, yet we are we have not breached above this level at the moment. So the question is, are we going to actually squeeze up or are we going to drop down to the downside and basically range on? <clears throat> so the current situation is that we are now trading within the upper sections of the chart, similar as that we were trading uh, in these lower sections of the chart. So these are, I would say, the border, uh, the border levels of the, um, of, the, of, of the range. 
and we are going absolutely sideways. Now, um, basically we have a point of control here in the middle of the in the middle of this range, uh, and we're simply just consolidating. And probably for those who follow this channel for quite a while, you already know what I'm going to say. At the moment, it's pretty much 50-50. Um, it is really, really in between these two levels. And I would personally say probably trading within these in the middle of a range uh, is probably not the best idea. So what can we expect? It really all depends on the way which this range is going to break. Should we break to the upside, backtest it, then we can look for, for higher prices such as $43,000. Should we break to the downside and backtest this weekly, we could look once again for these lower levels to come back into play within the range, which equal the weekly and the daily level. I wanted to keep this update really short and sweet. Uh, no nonsense uh, update about what uh, the way that I'm looking at uh, Bitcoin and what is potentially next as we go into the weekend. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Take care, enjoy, trade safe, happy learning, and see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.